Did you just get certified open water diver and are you looking for your first pieces of dive gear? Or maybe you are already a seasoned diver tired of renting always different and sometimes also crappy dive equipment? This video is for you. Today I'm going to tell you what in my opinion are the first 5 pieces of dive equipment you want to buy. Let's dive into it! Hey there, welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time watching my videos, thank you very much for being here. I'm Andrea, an Italian scuba diving instructor passionate about photography and video making, who wants to share his knowledge and his journey into the scuba diving world. So what are in my opinion the first five pieces of dive gear you have to buy? Let's start with the first and most important at my advice, a great mask. I'm not saying that you have to buy the most expensive mask on the planet. A great mask is the one that fits on your face perfectly. You can go to your local dive shop and they are going to show you how to try and understand if a mask fits on your face or not. But if you want a video on how to properly try a mask, let me know in the comments below. If you have more than one mask that fits, I always suggest to buy the one with the softer silicone skirt and always buy masks with tempered glass lenses. Sometimes you can also choose between black and clear silicone masks. Here I cannot say that one is better than the other, because it's up to you. You have just to know that masks with clear silicone skirts let more light get in and give the sensation of a wider field of view. But many times clear silicones tend to turn yellow after a bit or if not washed and stored properly. Masks with black silicone skirt instead let less light get in, giving you the feeling of a tighter and front focus field of view, and usually have softer silicone skirt. If you are considering buying a new mask, or maybe you just bought one, at the end of this video go also watch the one where I explain how to prevent your mask from fogging up. You can find it on the card right here. The second piece of equipment that you may buy are the regulators. Usually I will put regulator at the third place and thermal protection at the second. But in this period in which we are threatened by this virus that easily spread by tiny droplets of saliva, I think that having your own regulator is great for your safety. And also if it's not, it makes you feel safer knowing that you are using your own regulator and you are the only one using that mouthpiece. But talking apart, regulators are the only thing that make us breathe underwater. If you are a new diver, almost all the regulators are going to be fine for you. But don't go too cheap, because in scuba diving, and especially with regulators, the more you pay, the better it is. And we are talking about our lives. Also consider that Regulators are going to last you years, so if you buy a mid-range one instead of a really cheap one, and in the future you will step up your diving techniques and become a more advanced diver and, for example, dive deeper or in cold water, your regulator will be fine. A good example of a great mid-range full set of regulator can be, for your first stage, the Scuba Pro MK11. Plus, as your main second stage, the Scuba Pro C370, the R095 as emergency second stage, and a simple pressure gauge. This is a kit that you can use almost everywhere and is not going to fail once. As I said before, at the third place we have thermal protection.
Having appropriate thermal protection while diving is really important and choosing the right one depends on where you usually dive. If you dive mainly in warm and tropical water, you may need a 3mm shorty or full body wetsuit, while if you dive mainly in cold water, you may consider buying a 7.5mm semi-dry or a dry suit. And remember that only you know how cold you get while diving. The choice of a brand for your thermal protection is pretty personal, because every brand can wear differently. For example, I use Kubapro, because it is like they design every wetsuit on me. But someone that is skinnier or taller than me may consider using other brands that wear differently. So choosing the right thermal protection is up to you. See which one fits better, have the softer neoprene and is the right thickness for your necessity. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite wetsuit. Mine is the 4mm Nova Scotia from Scubapro. It is so soft and comfortable that I use it everywhere I go and I don't know why they stop producing it. The fourth piece of dive gear I will suggest you to buy is a dive computer. Usually, if you just got certified open water diver or if you do mainly guided dive, you're going to dive without a dive computer and following what the guide says. But if you're considering to go dive with your friends without a diving center or you want to do more than one dive a day during your holidays, having your own computer can be great because it tells you exactly how long you can stay at a certain depth, calculating also your last dive and how long you stayed out of the water between each dives. If you are interested in knowing why I think dive computers are so useful, consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button down here because I'm going to upload a video on this topic soon. The fifth and last piece of equipment I suggest you to buy is a DSMB or Delayed Surface Marker Boy. It is a pretty important piece of equipment and it can be life-saving. For example, if you have to indicate your position and be seen by the surface at the end of a drift dive, or if you lose your dive body or your dive guide, having a DSMB can be life-saving and it can help them to find you. And if you think about it, very few dive centers will rent you a DSMB. That's why I suggest you to have your own DSMB every time you dive and you can find really cheap and small options that are not going to be annoying while you dive. Great! Now you know what are the first 5 pieces of equipment you have to buy if you are a new diver. And if you already own some equipment, leave a comment below saying what it is and why you bought it. Ok guys, thank you for being here until the end and if you appreciate this video, smash the like button and see you in the next one. Peace!